And he's got Bridges up. No changes out of that lineup. To the drive inside, a collision. Oh, oh, oh. Sits on the bench right now for this franchise and a major beat. Oh, a major spot. They lead by seven. Largest lead of the night. Ingram. I think yeah. they have done a terrific job. Play 10, guys. Now, Uh-oh, heads up. He will. The hammer. Really got to another one. Here comes Ingram to the rack. Oh! Craig would have gotten a trade with Indiana. Ingram will go right through the trap. The end zone. Oh! Ran it with two on the clock for the win. Got it. Two tenths of a second. Again, that's big news. That's big news in this situation. Brandon will get it back. And at the buzzer. Oh, It'll come into bat on Judas. Back to Ingram for the win. Yes! To Body and Embiid. Embiid. Ingram for the win. What's up, YouTube? It's John Brady. We're going to big body. I hear Sony. Great video. Now, first things first, make sure you like a subscribe to find out saying today. I am the build dealer on your local corner country with this Brandon Ingram. Build video. I said the request for is today. I had a good time with this build as always. You know, this build, yeah. It, it did what it needed to do, you know. I appreciate y'all's suggestions because I really do like making y'all suggested bills, which is why I always tell y'all to suggest y'all bills because without y'all suggestions, this Brandon Ingram bill probably wouldn't have come out as soon, you know. The Lori Marketing bill probably wouldn't be coming out as soon. You know, all these other bills probably wouldn't be coming out as soon. So once again, you know, as the year ends, I just really want to thank all y'all, you know, for honestly being as active as y'all can be and, you know, providing me with enjoyable content as well as i you know then edit the videos and make it for you so yeah but without further ado let's get right to the attributes that i use for this brandon ingram 2k23 build video all right so as you see he's a small forward right hand that is his logistical information for his height i made him six foot eight 190 pounds with a seven foot three wingspan and a defined body shape. So this is all accurate to uh, Brandon Ingram. You know, I always try to stay as accurate as possible. So all of, you know, the stats or the dimensions that you see in right here is just his accurate dimensions. Now for the attributes, you want to put his close shot up to an 85, driving layup up to a 90, his driving dunk up to an 85 for, so you get contact dunks. You want his pulse control up to a 73. You want to put his mid-range shot up to an 87, his three-point shot up to an 87, and then his free throw up to a 71. Now for the playmaking, you want to put his pass accuracy up to a 67 so you can get 18 uh, playmaking badges, his field ball up to an 80, and his ball handling up to an 85 so you are able to ISO, you know, dribble the same way that Brandon Ingram can. For his defense, you want a 70 perimeter defense, 65 interior defense, a 60 block, and then a 65 defensive rebound. Then for his physicals, you want an 80 speed, 80 acceleration, 50 strength, 75 vertical, and a 95 stamina. And that is pretty much the bill. Let me know what y'all think down below, what y'all would change, what y'all hate, what y'all like, whatever. You know, like, just let me know. There was a touching comment that said y'all don't hate me, you know, so don't comment that down below, because, yeah. But yeah, as, with takeovers, you see I have access to slasher takeover, shot grant takeover, sharp should takeover, playmaking takeover. I would go with poor precision and finishing moves for a Brandon Ingram build. And in the shades of, guess who I end up getting? Guess what this all leads to? Not Brandon Ingram at all, you know. It's like, I'm just kidding. I wouldn't lie to y'all. Well, actually, I kind of just did lie to y'all. But you've seen the shades of it is Brandon Ingram. Also, if I sound a little bit tired, it's because I, I literally just woke up. Because, like, I have finals. I, I'm on two hours of sleep. But still, I'll be in a loop. She be in a scoop. Brandon Ingram can hoop. 
I got the shoot. Yeah, that was a bar, no cap. But as you see right here, the bad spread is actually very balanced. Even with the defense, you know, you get more defensive badges than expected in nine defensive badges. But like it really shines in the offensive department and the fact that you are able to, you know, f finish that lay. You could fin that lay, dunk over defenders, you know, shoot, dribble and pass, you know. That's where it really shines, but you are always also able to hold your own on defense. As a 6'8 build, you should be able to guard like, maybe like shooting guard to like power forward. You should be able to guard those builds. Maybe even a center just because your height and wingspan carry. But with this build, like it was a very dominant build. Like I really had a fun time with this build just because I was able to move so fluidly and honestly just dominate while being taller than pretty much most of the players that were guarding me. And obviously that's a privilege. So I was able to go into the post or into the paint a lot and honestly get the best look possible because as you know, height over heart. I don't care what y'all say at a point. It's like when you're so tall, you know, not saying that you could play like terribly, but like when you are so tall, you are going to be better than say a six foot player. Like it's just at a point, not in all cases, but you know, Chris Paul's ceiling, for example, is not as high as a Michael Jordan ceiling or not as high as like a like a Tracy McGrady ceiling. You know, I would not consider Chris Paul to be better all time than Tracy McGrady. I don't, not off the eye test at least, but like, that's just an example. So obviously with this build, you know, that height definitely does come into factor. But let's talk about Brandon Ingram, you know, Brandon Ingram has been hurt, you know, for a bit this year. You know, he hasn't been 100% has been able to play in all of the Pelicans contests. But the Pelicans are still really showing themselves to be like an up and coming squad. You know, number one in the West, unless they have unless the seedings change. But they were number one in the West. You know, Zion Williamson has been going crazy, having an MP MVP S type of season. And literally that whole like their depth is insane. The Pelicans depth, you know, they got Devontae Graham off the bench, you know, Larry Nance. They have, like they have all these players. And then, mind you, they're number one in the West with Brandon Ingram injured. So that's just crazy. You know, obviously the Lakers botched Brandon Ingram by giving him up and not developing him. Cause as we see, he is kind of like a KD prototype. He's not as good as KD, but you could tell he has the potential to be, you know, but like we see flashes of it, but you know, he's not exactly. But yeah, I don't know. Let me know something down below. That's pretty much the end of the video, y'all. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, real fucking, I'm saying, comedy builds y'all want and I'll eventually get to them. But until then, I'm out. Peace.